Welcome to today's episode of More History. Today, we will be examining feudalism. In medieval Europe, feudalism became the system of government in which most kingdoms used. Feudalism is a system of government where loyalty and land were important. Basically, powerful lords would give out land in exchange for a service. These services would include protecting or working the land, and in return, the king was provided protection and the profits of agriculture. Feudalism provided a social or class structure to the people of the Middle Ages. At the top of the feudal system was the king, who ruled the entire kingdom and he would divide land up among the nobles, and in return he would receive loyalty, soldiers, and workers to work the fields of the kingdom. Next in the feudal system were the vassals. They would promise loyalty to the king and manage the king's territory within the kingdom. Under the vassals were the knights who would protect their lords and their king, and at the bottom of the feudal system were the peasants and serfs who would work the land. Typically, the kingdoms were too large for the king to effectively protect and rule the land. You have to keep in mind that it could take months for messages to reach the entire kingdom, and it was difficult for the king to rule and protect the kingdom. From one end of the kingdom to the other could be hundreds to thousands of miles. To help protect the land, the king would give the vassal a fief. A fief means land or estate. Essentially, the king was handing out land to the people. Sounds like a pretty good deal. But what did it actually cost the vassals? The payment required was loyalty and that you would do what the king asked you to do. Normally, this was a promise to serve when called upon. The following quote is from a French vassal who swore an oath to his lord. To that magnificent lord, I, since it is well known to all how little I have wherewith to feed and clothe myself, I have therefore petitioned your piety, and your good will has decreed to me that I should hand myself over or commend myself to your guardianship which I have thereupon done, that is to say, in this way, that you should aid or succor me, as well with food, as with clothing, according as I shall be able to serve you and deserve it. The vassal is acknowledging that he will protect and serve the Lord, if in return he provides him with land and food. So what did a vassal get for this loyalty to the king? The king would give each vassal a fee for an estate, a fief would include a large piece of land and everything on it, whole towns, forests, buildings. The vassal will become the lord of his fief, the absolute ruler of the land or the estate. Basically, the vassal would become like a mini king of his land. But what else did they have to do for the king? The vassal would collect taxes from the peasants for the king. Not only would the vassal promise loyalty to the king, but they would send soldiers or knights to the king to protect the entire kingdom if war ever broke out. They would also have to provide food for the kingdom and soldiers if needed. During the Middle Ages, warfare could break out at any time and kings needed to be able to protect their land. Young men from noble families would train to become knights, warriors mounted on horseback. Knights would train and would pledge their loyalty to the vassal or mini king or to the actual king. Knights were expected to live by the code of chivalry, which required them to be loyal, courageous, and generous. They were supposed to fight fair in battles. Feudalism gave order to life in the Middle Ages, which is one of the basic purposes of government, but it also caused broken loyalties and war. On the next episode of More History, we'll look at the Battle of Hastings, where feudalism will be forced upon the peoples of England when William, Duke of Normandy, conquers England.